It is known that Padre Pio emanated a beautiful fragrance. But did Padre Pio need to be nearby for someone to smell this mystical fragrance? And what was its purpose? Was it some kind of sign that Padre Pio used a fragrance? Welcome to our YouTube channel, Following Padre Pio, about the Capuchin monk, mystic, and incredible miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member, or a friend. And now to our story. Many people attest to the fact that Padre Pio had a perfumed odor. Some report a fragrance resembling roses or violets, or lilies or incense, some even claim to scent the pleasant aroma of tobacco. This phenomenon of Padre Pio giving off a pleasant, mysterious fragrance is a gift of God. There is no other explanation. With Padre Pio, the fragrance would change with the occasion or the purpose. That is, that one's prayer has been heard, a warning to desist from some action, or for a reason to hope. What makes this fragrance mysterious is that it is sometimes detected on material objects that usually do not smell like that at all. For example, the clothes that were soaked with Padre Pio's blood. Blood usually does not have a pleasant fragrance. But the aroma can also appear without having any clear material source, as if it appeared out of thin air. So let's take a look at three testimonies about this gift of God to help us understand more about it. Our first testimony is from Mr. Arrigo Rosaza. Mr. Rosaza was a land surveyor working for a company that builds hydroelectric power plants. It was summer and he spent most of his time in the mountains, rarely going down to the valley into town. When he was in town, it wasn't to go to church. He would miss Sunday Mass. So in February, he decided to confess his sin to Padre Pio. How many times have you been absent? asked Padre Pio. I don't remember exactly how many times, replied Mr. Rosaza. So you do not remember how many times you've missed Mass? No, Father, replied Mr. Rosaza. I will not absolve you. Go to confession with someone else, said Padre Pio, ending the confession. Mr. Rosaza decided to spend some time in San Giovanni Rotondo to reflect on the problems of his soul. And after a few days, he confessed to a priest who listened to him and spoke with him for a longer time. Reconciled with his conscience, he headed back home during the entire trip, he felt a strong and peculiar perfume that accompanied him all the way home. He lived in Rosaza, a village in the province of Biela, some 860 kilometers or approximately 535 miles north of San Giovanni. I don't know what kind of car he drove or how fast he was going, but I would guess it took him more than 10 hours to get home. So during the entire trip, he had the blessing of enjoying this mystical fragrance as if a sign that the heavens were pleased with his sincere repentance. Our next testimony is from Mr. Teodoro Groschebacher. He says, In June 1972, one morning I went to Mass and felt the fragrance of Padre Pio. Then, together with my three children, I went to the forest to bring some logs to the valley. I loaded onto the sleigh, two of them measuring 4 meters in length and over 60 centimeters in diameter, so approximately 13 feet long and 23 inches in diameter. As I descended, while I crossed a not very tall forest, I put my foot on a crooked branch that rose to chest high and blocked my path. The sled landed on top of me, but it didn't crush me. It only gave me a slight push that knocked me out of the way as it crashed into the tree. When I realized what had happened, I remembered that wave of fragrance I had felt during the Mass. The Father had let me know that he was close to me. In this case, the fragrance was used as a sign of Padre Pio's presence in a dangerous situation. 
I can imagine Mr. Grosserbatcher being very grateful for Padre Pio's protection. Let's go to our third testimony, where the mystical fragrance was used as a warning of potentially fatal danger. Mr. Piero Melillo was traveling by car. He was driving at a very high speed. All of a sudden, he felt a wave of pleasant perfume. Where did this odor come from? He then recalled that one day he had asked Padre Pio about the meaning of this phenomenon of smelling a pleasant fragrance that does not seem to have a material source. He remembered Padre Pio's answer, My son, when you feel it, be very careful. Mr. Melillo decided to slow down, and little did he know that that decision at that very moment probably saved his life. Although he flew off the road, he was not injured, nor did the car sustain much damage. I am glad Mr. Melillo had that quick chat with Padre Pio before the trip. Padre Pio gave us an explanation of this mystical fragrance. Here are the words given to us by Father Modestino. I was serving Padre Pio's Mass when I started smelling his fragrance. It was so intense that I was about to faint and mentally asked Padre Pio to stop. Later, I asked Padre Pio about it. My son, it is not me. It is the Lord. He decides who smells it and when. Everything happens if and when He wants. So we can conclude that those who met Padre Pio had a special grace from God to smell this pleasant fragrance, this mystical fragrance, as a sign of God's love towards us. Padre Pio's fragrance is still experienced by many of his devotees today. Thank you, Padre Pio, for your intercession, and thank you, God, for allowing us this mystical fragrance. And thank you for listening. Now please subscribe, click the reminder bell, and share with your friends to help promote our channel. But the best way to get involved in our Padre Pio Apostolate is to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. Just click the link in the description below. Check out the videos on the end screen and stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.